Let's say you need a car with a big boot that can seat four adults in comfort and can also do a little bit of off-roading. Was that you also need to be able to do 200 miles an hour? No problem. This is the Ferrari FF, the most practical, most usable and most easy to live with Ferrari ever. That's why, despite the fact it costs over 200 grand, we're going to subject it to the usual car buyer tests. Normally, this will be the part of the review where I run around the car and show you its practicality, but seeing as this is a Ferrari, I thought I'd put in a little bit extra effort, and so here's a demo I filmed earlier. One of the best things about the FF is that it can seat adults in the back, and so if you should happen across some twins, you don't have to leave one of them behind. So then girls, how's headroom? And what about legroom? Excellent. The FF isn't just good at carrying people though, it's also ideal for going shopping as the boost is positively humongous for a supercar. And while a V12 engine is never going to be particularly green, you can still do your bit for the environment by using the FF to take your rubbish for recycling. Hopefully you found that little demonstration useful and I'm going to finish up now by talking about practicality here in the front of the FF because it's actually very good. You've got a cubby under the central armrest there for your wallet. There's a cheeky one just up there on the dash for your iPhone. There's a little space down here for the remote control for the entertainment system and in the glove box you can put the headphones for it as well. Look, there we go. Now, normally I check the size of the side door bins using a bottle of water, but this is a Ferrari. That wouldn't be appropriate, so instead I've got a vintage bottle of Chateau Neuf de Pape. So, let's see if it fits. Oh, there you go, it does. Obviously, we don't condone drinking and driving. And anyway, you won't want to get any wine stains on that lovely interior. Needless to say, you can fit the car with numerous options, and I'd recommend the round view cameras so you don't scratch the FF's bodywork while parking. Do you know what? I think it's time to fire this beast up. Part of the Ferrari FF is, of course, its fabulous 6.3 litre V12 engine. It puts out 660 horsepower, which is good for 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 207 miles an hour. But the best thing for me about the car isn't its amazing performance, but the incredible sound. Now, I'll just knock it down a couple of gears so you can hear it for yourself. The great thing about this Ferrari though is that even when you're going really quickly you never feel scared and that's because it just holds the road so well and the handling, it's just sublime. Through the corners this car makes you feel like a total driving god and despite its size it's agile, nimble and just as exciting as pretty much any other supercar. What's more it has several personalities. Depending on your mood, you can change the driving characteristics of this car using this little manatino switch here on the steering wheel. What that does is alter things like the suspension, the throttle response, the speed of the gear shifts from the dual clutch seven speed gearbox, and you can choose from motor to sport comfort if you want to just kind of cruise about. There's wet for when it's obviously really bad weather and there's even a little snowflake there because this car can actually drive on snow and part of the reason for that is that it's the first ever Ferrari to feature four-wheel drive. Now unlike other four-wheel drive cars you don't have a central differential and a prop shaft going to that then back against the front wheels because that's just really heavy and Ferraris are all about performance so what they've done is actually fitted a little gearbox to the front of the engine and it's driven off the crankshaft and when you're getting a little bit of slip at the rear end, it sends power up to 30% to the front wheels to help pull you out of a corner. Don't worry, the FS still feels like a proper rear wheel drive car. However, its occasional all wheel drive capability means that you can take it places other Ferraris fear to tread, such as the muddy overflow car park at the races.
Seeing as this is a car bar review, we do need to talk about what the FF is like to drive in town. And do you know what? It's surprisingly easy. The steering, it's nice and light when you're going slowly. The visibility, it's no worse than in something like a Volkswagen Scirocco. And the suspension, it's pretty smooth. It glides over bumps in the road. That said, it's not quite as wafty as something like a Bentley Mulsan, but then what do you expect? It's Ferrari. It's supposed to be sporty. However, that does bring me on to the downsides. And when you're shunting along in traffic, the dual clutch gearbox isn't quite as smooth as a traditional torque converter auto. And I have to say, this car doesn't quite make people go, oh my God, look at that, in the same way that an Aventador does. And it's a bit of a shame, really, when you've just spent £227,000. In fact, this car actually costs £275,000 with all the options fitted to it, such as wheels, which are four and a half grand, bits of interior trim, which add up to 10 grand, and the paint, that's 11 grand. Finally, there's the fuel bills, because this thing will only do 18 miles per gallon. But hey, if you can afford to buy an FF, you can probably afford to run one as well. And to ease the pain, Ferrari do offer this car with free seven years servicing, because after all, rich people, they still like a bit of a deal, don't they? And do you know what? If you ask me, Matthew, if you could only have one car for the rest of your life, but that car could be any car, do you know what? i choose this, because it ticks every single box. What, did you expect me to finish the review by getting out of the car and walking away? Of course, I was going to drive off in it. Subscribe to the Car Buyer channel for our latest videos. Click here to see our reviews of other luxury cars. And don't forget to rate, share, favourite and comment on this video.